hello everyone this is Jushi and again I'm here with you uh, with a brand new session that is goods and service tax council so uh, GIS here today is presenting a new council why it is important because recently by the 101st constitutional amendment it has been added to in our constitution okay so let's have a view of it so goods and service tax council is a constitutional body for making recommendations to the union and state council on issues related to the goods and service tax the gst council is chaired by the finance minister union finance minister and uh, other members are the union state ministers of revenue of finance and ministers in charge of the finance and taxation of all states so why this topic or this session is important because by the 101st first constitution uh, amendment or i can say 101st amendment act 2016 this new regime has been added in our constitution so the constitution 122nd amendment bill 2016 was passed or introduced in the uh, parliament and passed by the rajya sabha on 3rd august 2016 and by lok sabha on 8th august 2016 so here it is the important point that we have to know rajya sabha had cleared it on 3rd august 2016 but by uh, lok sabha it was cleared by the 8th august 2016 and uh, consequent upon this the honorable president of india accorded assent on 8th september 2016 and the same was notified as the constitution on the 2016 the first uh, the 100 and uh, 101 and first amendment act okay so as per article 279a of the amendment constitution the gst council has to be constituted constituted by the president within 60 days of the commencement of the article 279a the notification for bringing into force and uh, force article 279a with effect from 12th september 2006 so it is the important when was it uh, got affected it was affected by the 12th september 2016 and uh, was issued by the 10th september 2016 okay so let's have a view of vis- vision and mission of the council the vision of this council is to establish the highest standard of cooperative federation in the functioning of the council which is the first constitutional federal body vested with powers to take all major decisions related to gst okay and the mission of this council is to involving by a process of wider consultation a gst structure which is information technology driven and user friendly okay so let's have a look about the composition of the council as per article 279a of the amendment constitution the gst council which will be a joint forum of the Const- uh, center and the state shall consist of following members so in it the union finance minister as the chairperson the union fi- minister of state in charge of revenue and finance okay the it will be a member and the minister in charge of finance or taxation or any other minister nominated by each state government will be the members the members of the council from the state have to choose one amongst themselves to the vice chairperson of the council they can also decide this his term the union cabinet also decided to include the chairperson of the central board of excise Cust- customs this is to the important point that cbec as a permanent invitee non voting to all proceedings of the council so cbec is a permanent invitee but as according to the non voting member okay so to all proceedings of the councils so they will be invited uh, invitee of this council so uh, let's have a look towards the working of the council okay, so as per the council uh, the decision of the council are taken at its meeting one half of the total number of members of the council is the quorum of four conducting a meeting every decision of the council is to be taken by the majority of not less than 3/4 of the weighted votes it is important that not less than 3/4 of the weighted votes of the members presented and voting of the meeting 
so the union cabinet in its meeting held on 12 september 2016 approved setting up the gst council and setting up its secretariat the cabinet inter alia uh, took decisions for the following criteria uh, sorry creation of the gst council as per the article 279a of the amended council um, constitution creation of the gst council secretariat with its office at new delhi yeah here it is the important point that its uh, office is at new delhi okay so uh, secretariat is at new delhi now the appointment of the secretary as the ex officio secretary to the gst council inclusion of the chairperson central board of excise and custom cbc as per the permanent invitee to the proceedings of the gst council and create one post of additional secretary to the gst council in the gst council secretariat and four post of commissioner in the gst council secretariat to the government of india okay so these were the important points that were related to the uh, gst council and uh, and uh, uh, we will talk about the any act or proceedings of the council will not become valid for the following grounds on what grounds that are any vacancy or defect on the constitution of the council or any defect in the appoint, uh, appointment of the person as per member of the council or any procedural irregularity of the council not affecting the merits of the case okay so let's discuss about the functions of the council the council is required to make recommendations to the centers and states on the following matters so here the taxes and cesses surcharges levied by the center the cent states and the local bodies that would get merged in the gst the goods and service that may be subjected to gst or exempted from gst model of gst laws principles of levy apportionment apportionment of gst levy on supplies in the course of interstate trade or commerce and the principles that govern the place of supply the threshold limits of the turnover below will uh, which uh, goods and service may be exempted for gst so these were the important functions of the council these will be the important functions and there are so many other functions that will be uh, done in uh, artic um, m lakshmi kant's chapter that is uh, 46 chapter that is goods and service tax council okay so you have to read about it you have to go through it because it is an important chapter of this edition and is the brand new session of this edition so let's have a look of impact of gst so what uh, will gst do and uh, what will be the impact of gst so pre gst uh, indirect tax stru structure of india was like this that uh, central tax uh, tax administration and cess and uh, procedures and all and the central levies were divided into four procedure uh, four major procedures that is custom duty excise duty service tax and central ex uh, sales tax okay there was a, it means it was a huge procedure i mean there was it was like a very big procedure to follow all these procedures it was a uh, very you know long procedure to go through taxes and all and these were so complicated so that they, these tax uh, complications were creating the or maximizing the chances of corruption in it okay but according to the next gst structure of india i mean the new regime of the uh, tax structure of india it will be the simple procedure of it so in it the gst is being divided into cgst sgst and igst okay it's about a central state uh, central and state regime tax regimes okay this this is the impact of gst i mean gst structure in india will be bit simple than before uh, this implementation implementation okay so uh, you can see on this picture that uh, gst meeting was held 35th meeting so by this we can see that this was not the last let me know you this was not the last meeting 37th was the last meeting and uh, you can see in this next picture that uh, 37th meeting of gst council was held on uh, Uh, go on 19 to 20th september 2019 and it was in goa okay so this was the last meeting 
and uh, by this meeting you can get it that uh, till now gst council has an organized 37 meetings as per now okay so it is a big deal to organize such a uh, huge number of meetings at all so hope this uh, session or this uh, chapter will help you to recognize everything about goods and service tax in council and possibly this tax level or this new regime will definitely improve our tax system and it is working as we are practicing it from last uh, three or four years we can see that uh, till now we had uh, the tax regime or tax system or the financial statements has been improved at a good level so hope we we all are hoping that this new tax system or this new regime will definitely help us in our financial uh, system or financial structure so uh, this was Aishi Jushi and again I'll meet you with the next brand new session. So thanks for watching and thanks for being with a long time for me.